Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I come with some good news. Now, if you've been paying attention and you've been following a tracker like I've suggested you do, you may have noticed that stock has been replenishing every day this week. And that doesn't matter if you've been after an AMD card, uh, Nvidia card, if you've been trying to get a console, stock has been coming back pretty frequently. And that's great news if you're still on the search for trying to get one of these things. Now me, myself, I've still been trying to get a 5900X and I've gotten fairly frustrated. I haven't had too much luck yet, but stock has been coming back very frequently and that's great news. It's good to see. Now I can't speak to the quantity of things because I really don't know how much is being released, but I do know that it is being released. And that's good to see. If you're not following Newegg on Twitter, definitely do so, turn on the notifications. They've been the main ones that have been dropping stuff every day. With that said, Nvidia is also positioning themselves to actually release even more stock using another manufacturer, which we're gonna talk about. Now, also, I do wanna say I have given up my search for the 3080. I did decide that I was going to move from the 6800 XT to the 3080, but now I'm gonna be going for the 3080 Ti. And we got some news about that today. Let's get into it. According to PCInvasion.com, it looks like Nvidia may be striking a deal or has struck a deal with Samsung. This will help significantly boost their manufacturing of the RTX 30 series. Now I know the RTX 30 series has been a terrible, terrible experience for so many people. And the same could be said about the GPUs that AMD has produced. It's just been a terrible experience all around. Even though it has been so bad, it looks like stock may begin to pick up much more rapidly. I mentioned briefly that Newegg has been getting stock daily or showing stock daily on their website, and that's great to see. It looks like Nvidia is taking it a step further in working with Samsung manufacturers to produce even more cards. So what does this mean for you and me if we're trying to get these cards? Well, it looks like it means that this debacle, this horrible launch that we've dealt with is about to be over. It looks like we won't have to deal with these scalpers any longer and it looks like a lot of these scalpers are going to be losing money on the inventory that they can't sell. I really hope that they do because this has just been a terrible experience for me trying to move to the YouTube tech reviewer space. It's just been very difficult trying to get a hold of anything. Now to stay on track here, it looks like Nvidia may be using Samsung as well for producing the RTX 30 Super series, which I don't have too much information on just yet, but it looks like they're going to be run on the same 8 nanometer process, which, you know, I wouldn't really expect it to be too much different, but who knows what exactly these things are going to consist of. But it looks like there's talks of it going on as well, and this is some information I got over here at WCF Tech, and I'll have all my links in the description so you guys are free to check it out yourself, but I'm not too worried about the Super Series myself, because like I said earlier, I am going to be shooting for the 3080 Ti, but it looks like I may be having some problems with that, and you might be too if you're trying to get one. Now, if you've been following these graphics cards closely, specifically the 3080, there were talks of a 20 gigabyte variant that was going to be released, but it also got pushed back and then it got canceled. And then there were talks about a 3080 Ti shortly after that. But it looks like the 30 Ti may have been pushed back as well, but it's not looking like it's going to be canceled, which is good. Now the 3080 Ti will be very comparable to the 3090 in power but it looks like it will have 20 gigabytes of VRAM instead of the 24, which personally I'm very excited for and looking forward to because this is one of the biggest hangups I had with getting the 3080 because 10 gigabytes really is not going to do it for a future-proof type of gaming. It really just isn't that much in comparison to the 16 gigabytes that AMD was offering. It may be faster memory, but it's not very much memory. So 20 gigabytes is really sounding good to me and that's the card I believe I will be shooting for after now. According to Igor's lab, it looks like there have been some delays that will be happening with this thing. Originally, the rumor was that it was supposed to be coming out early January, but now it looks like it may be in February sometime after the Chinese New Year. And again, all this information will be in the description.
Are you guys enjoying Cyberpunk? If you're playing it, are you having a good experience with it? Is it running good on your system? I stated in another video that I would possibly uh, be releasing a video on how to improve the performance of Cyberpunk on your PC. So I don't know, I'm kind of trying to poll real quick guys. So let me know if you guys are interested in that video and I'll go ahead and make it if you guys are. A shout out my Patreons real quick guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for the support. It's definitely appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's gonna do it for the video. As always, if you do have any questions, concerns, confusions, whatever it may be, don't hesitate to ask. I don't mind helping, I promise guys. I'm really trying to build something for you guys here. I hope y'all want to be a part of that. A simple like, share, subscribe, comment. They go so far for the channel. It really helps me continue to grow and do better. If there was something you didn't like, thought I could have done better, whatever it may be, please leave a thumbs down. Just let me know what it was so I can continue to improve and do better. I believe in that. I'd like to do that. With that said, I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, well, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe. Specifically. We'll see you.